What's up, family? So I wanted to talk about nationalism and sovereignty and globalism and collectivism. For some reason, a lot of people I know, when they hear the word or term nationalist, they think of racist or white nationalism. And that's, that's not the truth. Sure, there's some white nationalists out there, and there has been in our past. I don't deny that. But I'm a nationalist. And many people that you might respect that have been world leaders were nationalists also. Emperor Selassie was a nationalist. Um, Nkrumah was a nationalist. A lot of my heroes, when it comes to how they viewed society and the sacrifices that they made for their nations, were nationalists. That word sovereignty is a very important word to understand. Sovereignty means that my being is sovereign. There's nobody that can rule over me except the Creator. So, you know, we're, I believe that we're in a battle right now between the globalists and nationalists. I'm not saying the nationalists are perfect and that I agree with everything that they stand for. But it comes down to two things for me. One, again, is that word sovereignty. And two is humanitarianism. I call myself a nationalist humanitarian. It comes down to how much and how sincere does a leader care about the well-being and prosperity of the people? The globalists, the way the media and, and all of this mainstream propaganda that's getting shoved down our throats is telling us that the globalists are our saviors. Uh, Bill Gates is a globalist. This uh, Schwartz guy, or however you say his name, that's at the World Economic Forum, he's a globalist. These people are using humanity's caring towards their fellow human beings to enslave them. They are telling you all day, every day on the media that globalism is the answer to our problems. And I think, well, I know what's going on right now is people are waking up to that agenda. Collectivism breeds a herd mentality that is very dangerous. But it's deceptive because they can wrap it up in a in a box and bow and make it seem so pretty and so humanitarian. So as we go forward, just consider that and remember nationalism is not a bad thing. It doesn't automatically make somebody a racist. So be aware of the forces that are trying to lead the herd in a certain direction. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. If the media is in unison over a particular narrative, you better for sure investigate the other direction. Peace and love.